Undercorrection autoplasty or just swelling? It's now two months that I had an autoplasty. Have my ears been corrected? Because they still stick out, or is it just the swelling? My surgeon told me before the operation that he can't do anything about the position of the earlobe. Now I feel that my earlobes are sticking out because he didn't set them back as well. I want my earlobes also set back. Is that possible with a second autoplasty? I want my ears much closer to my head. Thank you for your question. You're asking if the situation you're in where you have had the autoplasty two months ago, whether or not you have an undercorrection or is it just swelling. And you describe in your question that you feel like your ears are sticking out too much and that somehow there was like some issue with your surgeon as far as the, uh, le the position of the earlobe. And then you close the question stating you want your ear closer uh, to your head. And the photos you submitted certainly are helpful. Well, I can certainly give you my perspective on how I take care of patients who request otoplasty in our practice. I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years, and otoplasty is, uh, is part of what we do in our practice. Now, the anatomy and concept of, of otoplasties are relatively straightforward. The execution and achievement can be sometimes a little bit tricky. So, since there were no photos of your ears prior to the surgery, we, I, I kind of have to give, suggest to you some guidance that I provide with my patients um, when it comes to the aesthetics of otoplasty. Very often people who have had ears that stick out very significantly, they often want them very, very close to their, to their head to try almost like an overcompensation. I would, I would suggest that there is also a range of, of normal. In our medical literature, we kind of use the one centimeter rule as a guideline as to the distance of where the ear is relative to the skull or to the, back, to the bone. Now, there's a, when, when you think of autoplasty, you can think of it at the, from, in terms of, a thir of thirds. There's the upper third of the ear, the middle third, and then the lower third and the upper third cartilage, the middle third cartilage, and the lower third being mostly the earlobes, the soft tissue of the earlobe, all need to be brought in in just the right amount and then w with maximal symmetry. So when you show in your photo the earlobe being pushed inward, clearly that's not exactly natural. The way the ears look now they, from, from the photo, they look, relative, they look pretty symmetric, and I don't think they look extremely um, protuberant. They don't look like they're pr protruding out significantly. However, this is a communication issue. If you, if you and your surgeon could not come to terms as to the degree that the ear can be brought in or what would be ideal, that's a, that, that's, a, that's a concern because, you know, your surgeon, I'm sure uh, if, since you chose your surgeon, you probably had a sense of confidence about your surgeon's ability to perform the procedure and you probably had some uh, significant amount of time put into a preoperative discussion. Essentially, in terms of the earlobe, the earlobe can potentially stick out after the upper uh, third and, low, and middle third of the ear is brought in and there's surgery to actually bring it in. And sometimes that surgery is done at the time of the otoplasty surgery. So I think that at two months, I wouldn't necessarily say that swelling is as much of a factor um, in terms of the uh, significance in the, uh, in the relative protrusion. However, there is certainly value in allowing resolution of some swelling before doing um, re revision surgery, if appropriate, if you and your surgeon can come to terms. Um, there, there are different methods of performing otoplasty, and again, th that's, that's a d discussion that you should have with your surgeon. But really, you know, you may want to first 
really look at your before pictures and your after pictures and decide how many millimeters is worth another surgery. Um, you know, the, there's one of the um, phrases we use in our field is that, you know, the enemy of a, a, a good result is a perfect result. Uh, the, the human body is, na is intrinsically imperfect and we don't necessarily have to have an ideal but you could, you could, if you can imagine a more of a range, then you may not feel as passionately about, uh, about your result. But again, this is a communication issue with your doctor. Can your ear be set back further if that's the question? The answer is yes. As long as there is room, there is room to bring it back. But will that look good? Well, that's a question. That's a that's a subjective question that both you and your surgeon have to come to terms with. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.